Just another day at work. Uh, what's that? Oh, it's just a human. I hope I don't get distracted because this could be dangerous for my human. Uh, stop. You're distracting me from my work. Ah, uh, that feels really nice, but I really have to get back to a little higher. Ah, that's the spot right there. Keep fellow Aggies safe. Touching or interacting with a service animal can be dangerous or life-threatening. Oh no, I can't concentrate. I need to be working. Ah, great. No more distractions. Now I can help my human get through the day on campus. I smell a dog around. I hope it leaves me alone. Oh, ah, don't hurt me. Oh, hello. How are you? Geez, you really surprised me there. It's okay if you're on campus, but please just walk by next time. Consider leaving pets at home. Other animals can interfere with the work of a service animal and put your fellow students at risk. What a stressful day. It may look like I'm just resting, but even while we're sitting on this bench, I have to remain alert and ready to react to keep my human safe. I can see you taking pictures of me. I may not seem to mind, but it can be annoying and disruptive to my human. If only you could see what it's like. Respect the privacy of the service animal team. Do not take photos or videos of the team without permission. I can't even rest in peace. Everyone is always in my business. I couldn't see you enjoying this. Work is important to me, and while it may not be obvious that I'm working, I've spent hours training to be able to assist my human in a variety of tasks. Some of us can even alert our humans in the event of a medical emergency. One of our Aggie core values is respect, and we can show our service dog teams respect by practicing proper etiquette around them. It's always safe to assume that when you see a human animal team on campus, they are at work.